So, Grim Dawn, is it good? Yes, yes it is, and here is why. A classic hack and slash action RPG has many other titles in this genre, but there are a few things that make Grim Dawn unique. First of all, you have to know that the people that work on this game also work on a fantastic game called Titan Quest, and if you've ever played Titan Quest, you know it's bloody good. Same engine, different game. You start each character the same way and the first branch in the huge tree of customization will be met at level 2 when you will have to decide the first class you want to be. I said first because at level 10 you can choose a second one, making it very interesting combinations. Each combination of classes has its own name. For example, a demolitionist and a soldier is a commando. There are your usual item rarity tiers with the classical set items, uh, things already seen almost everywhere in the realm of action RPG so everyone will be familiar with. Then we have these tiny little things called components that can be applied to your gear to augment your character. Some will give you a simple bonus like 5% health, others will give you a skill, whether it's an active skill, a proc or an aura. Once you accumulated a little bit of wealth and levels and saved the blacksmith, you, or he, can craft items for you. From a simple reroll item that requires some peanuts, to other epic that will cost you an arm and a leg. Not to mention, these are the things only obtainable from a blacksmith, they cannot drop, and can be quite powerful, some of it will require a substantial amount of currency to be made, but benefits are considerable. And now comes what makes Grim Dawn different from other games of the genre, Constellation, or rather Devotion as they call it. There are five groups of Constellation, Ascendant, Chaos, Eldritch, Order and Primordial. Each constellation of star that each will grant you a bonus specific to that constellation, for example the turtle, the turtle will offer you defenses. You'll also get bonus affinity points for completing a constellation, many of which will have a star in that that will offer you an extra very specific skill that you can and will have to link to one of your actual skills. To follow the example of the turtle, once you complete the tortoise, to, to, tortoise to, to, well, the turtle, uh, you can assign the turtle shell skill to a passive uh, skill, for example an aura, and that will grant you that at, when you are at 40% you get some damage absor absorption, absorption, bloody hell I can't talk. This uh, up damage absorbed will uh, get higher the more experience you get because these skills can actually gain experience and gain levels. Some skills can only be linked to auras, other to active skills, in any case right click in the star will show you which one you can and which one you can't. This offers a very deep level of customization and allows you to choose exactly your playstyle. So is this Path of Exile? Absolutely not. It is a different game in almost any aspect, even though it is the same genre. Path of Exile has a very fast pace where you can actually reach something like 12 hits per second and builds like the Rolf Copter or uh, the Blender. While Green Dawn has a slower gameplay, but it feels like the impacts are actually there. I mean, you can actually feel the impact, the physics on the defeated enemies and the ragdoll effect gives something that is lacking on Path of Exile in my opinion. Now, enough for comparisons. So, is it worth buying? Well, let's see. Did you play and like Titan Quest? Then yes. Absolutely yes. Do you like action RPG? Then yes. Do you like to see your enemies flying around as they were hit by a Chuck Norris roundhouse kick? Then yes. Do you hate action RPG? Well, still yes, and you'll probably change your mind. With its deep com customization, classes combos, physics and massive replayability, it is a surefire choice for any action RPG or even RPG fans. It is fun, it is nice, I actually left out uh, some of the aspects of this game because I don't want to spoil uh, too much, but anyway, if you like action RPG or if you even liked, as I said, uh, Titan Quest, you have to buy this game. It is worth it, it is absolutely worth it in my opinion. Well, I hope you enjoyed my game review, thanks for watching and don't forget to improve yourself.